Good evening, sir. Welcome to the session. We can start the session now, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, firstly, I thank the state government uh, for giving me this opportunity and my chair, I supervise the base section, Kurt uh, Retigaru and SLN Lakshminarayan Garu. Uh, the topic of today is uh, managing. Madam, am I uh, audible? A little bit louder, really. Hello? Yes, sir, somewhat louder, but somewhat uh, louder, sir. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, let me get with the topic. Now, madam? Madam, is okay? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, yes, managing sir, information, okay. community connection, and conserve. Uh, this is the right topic that is needed for today uh, and tomorrow uh, because our future is dependent on this topic. Uh, by the end of this topic, uh, there are many opportunities for uh, every individual you will be seeing. Maybe you are from engineering background or non engineering background, or maybe you are uh, no way related to the uh, education. Even then, there are many opportunities. Uh, uh, and then there is a, always an individual uh, responsibilities involved in the community connection so uh, all those points i will be discussing here today uh, going with that uh, this is what the uh, view that we like when we see our nature uh, so for this uh, the little slogan is like reduce reuse and recycle so this is the uh, only mantra that we need to use now so how the greenery preserve and environment uh, is conserved okay so reduce the usage of things that you are using from the environment maybe natural resources uh, the nutrition from the nature and reuse it whatever the things that you have you use instead of building them again uh, wasting the uh, resources that are available or recycle what are the used things so that's the main concept Okay, the mission here uh, is to make firms, business partners, relatives, friends, students, professionals, youth like you people and then friends uh, to come together to contribute time, energy and resource towards improving our own community. So this is our responsibility. It's not a responsibility or we tend to comment on others that he is not responsible. But here an individual like us has to be responsible in building our own community. So there are many slogans given by the many uh, professors. So like a community in balance leads to a planet in balance. This is what our uh, first basic uh, point that we have to know. Together we can uh, accelerate meaningful solution to protect the great diversity of life and build a brighter future for all. So this is again a, a great sentence which has a lot of meaning. Uh, we can achieve anything. We can save our planet. We can save our lives. We can have a good networking, good relation only if we are together. Living in harmony with the nature has been an integral part of Indian culture. This also we have to uh, uh, note that. So this is our integral part. So we have to carry forward for our next future generations. Okay, the facts that uh, we have to see is that uh, if you observe in the community connection, people how uh, they are. So here is that uh, people living alone is uh, from the 1980 to now uh, we expect to the 2040 the expectations of production is like this. So the individual living alone, the people living alone is increasing. And if you see that single singles are also increasing, so the married couples uh, is decreasing. Okay, so the couples with the children is decreasing. So the, why this is happening? Again, we have to think of that. Uh, being an in, uh, Indian communities uh, where we have the joint families, uh, we have to note that. Again, if you see the uh, male and female uh, ratio of unmarried uh, people, so you, you see the male people unmarried is increasing. So they stay unmarried. Uh, this is the gap that we have created. Uh, we have not cared of. So that's why this gap is coming. 
so just how i look of the uh, community connection in the past how we are in the past uh, maybe in the 80s or maybe in the uh, back 90s 80s or 60s see here uh, the basic thing is all the concepts that i am going to cover are known to us but we are ignoring them and few of them maybe uh, you have not in in touch or uh, maybe you need uh, a brief of that so that uh, your idea may glow and you may be becoming an individual who saves our uh, protects then our earth okay so this is the every slide uh, maybe few slides you may be thinking you have already known but other slides maybe it is uh, uh, important for you so be uh, stay tuned here so the past the communities of uh, belonging uh, we should have a, a family where uh, they are joined and one is to go outside into the workplace this is the connection that we used to have now the community connection is elaborated so if you see uh, we in turn have a network in internet connection we can have a online friends and then we can have a social gathering we can have a hobby friends and then we can have a library connection where we can have book reading with the friends so this is how the culture is that a uh, future uh, the connections will be all virtual maybe like today we are gathered virtually so if you see that uh, in the past uh, the gurus uh, vedas uh, everywhere they even the krishna uh, god krishna story so we have been all connected with our elders the gurus uh, who always uh, uh, been there with us uh, teaching our uh, good and bad so that connectivity uh, now we see maybe uh, individually we are growing away from the family and missing all the connections that we have so virtually all the countries of the world have the rich traditions embedded uh, in the ethics uh, of protecting the nature any uh, ancient culture tells us uh, how the communities lived in how harmony so this is what we have seen uh, if you see this is a nature that we expect so what we take from the nature is that we take the nutrition from the nature as well as uh, uh, protect them so this is what happened in the uh, last traditions that we did so we used to get the food from the nature as well as we used to protect the nature so that is a blessing that we have what modern man is doing now so what modern man is doing is nothing but the people who is to protect uh, that is what uh, our farmers or the uh, uh, tribal people who are the real people who are uh, with the nature harmony so uh, how the modern man is seeing is they are the indigenous people uh, backward people uh, so poor illiterate so uh, this is the uh, what modern man is thinking but uh, if you see they are the only people who are uh, connected to the nature and the sustainability of the nature uh the secrets are been with the, these people only we have to mind in them and we have to take the uh, responsibility to get the local communities involved in our development of uh, uh, having a uh, ecosystem biological ecosystem or biodiversity you can say so if you see that earth uh, for them the earth is something like a life a, a gift to be Uh, celebrated it is a gift to be celebrated and then ancient earth is the one to be prayed worshiped and also celebrated we have to worship it that and then it is not something to be uh, used or uh, ownership it or object uh, that is uh, to be exploited or uh, it is not it is a living entity an object of worship so this is what uh, the people uh, to whom modern people are thinking are illiterate for them these are the important thing for the uh, about the earth so we are missing that the worship of the mother earth is a universal phenomena in many indigenous cultures the religious uh, uh that's what we have to remember even if you see our culture in the past we are getting all the uh, festivals or rituals or songs about the gods or mites that we are hearing all about the uh, um, mother earth these people pray about the mother earth and these people what they say is not but must i injure her uh, flesh so as to get her bones so whenever they dig for a plant, a plant or something they feel like this they feel bad of uh, harming the earth uh, 
so which we are missing here uh, daily we are not caring about our surroundings that we will need to care and these are the uh, people illiterate people are uh, indigenous people these are the people who are uh, directly involved with the nature harmony and in many countries uh, they attribute that supernatural powers to the plants animals rivers ocean mountains wind sun so that's what we will be praying moon god or sun god we will be praying the uh, rain god for the rains plants these are the uh, beliefs that they have and they pray and the respect for the nature is inherent in many religions faith so maybe it's in hinduism or islamic or maybe it's christianism any religion you take uh, this is uh, uh, indeed the the respect to the nature is uh, inherent the quality consciously or unconsciously we have been bonded in the past and in all the religions nature and its components are created by god we believe that the, everything is created by god and the humans are entrusted to uh, are, are entrusted with the responsibility of protecting it so but what we are doing now is nothing but we are taking the leadership of all the species on the earth and we are ruling that it should not be like this it should be something like a uh, we have to be a part of the biodiversity not uh, leading the uh, biodiversity to the uh, when the people throughout the world are worried by the uh, degradation of the environment and the disasters consequences of this uh, traditional ethics nature conservation could be looked so here uh, we have to see uh, all these disasters what is the solution um, you see in the images uh, the pollution is uh, the uh, plants have been cut off uh, so you're getting pollution from the industries uh, even ocean is polluted uh, animals have been dying so what is the solution perhaps for this uh, is nothing but it is only the thing is natural nature conservation we have to have the nature conservation in a natural way uh, it should not be uh, like a destructive manner and some of the fundamental principles of ecology uh, is that the interrelationship and the interdependency of all the lives so we have to think uh, what is the interrelationship what is the thing what is the amount of nutrition that we have to take from the nature what has to be given what are the rules uh, that we need to follow spiritually or non spiritually so everything is documented in a book isopan shida in two 2000 years ago only so which has to be followed as per the book norms but we are losing that so here in this book the conclusion part is that uh, very nice so you can see that this universe is a, a creation of supreme power meant for the benefit of all the creations not for the individual human but it is for everyone each individual life form must therefore learn to enjoy its benefits by forming a part of the system in close relation with other species this is what the uh, thing that have been given in that book so we can should not uh, dominate on the other species as i told every uh, culture uh, every religion we have the values beliefs attitudes so for the uh, nature and this cross sectional universality is there in every uh, religion so if you see universally truth is always a truth even it is in any culture or any religion so we have to follow that okay the worshiping of the trees animals forests rivers and suns uh, uh, considering the earth itself uh, the mother goddess was the part of that indian tradition uh, we have to think uh, earlier we used to have this now how many of us uh, are being in touch with the nature with the busy life that we have scheduled so if you see some of the experience of the traditional practices that we, uh, we used to have in the past and what we are missing uh, now so if you say uh, scared gloves that is nothing but uh, protecting the our uh, uh, 
environment these are the things that have been followed all over the in india maybe a consequently or non consequently or maybe forcefully maybe not forcefully maybe because of the belief that we have maybe the our parents have told that spiritual uh, benefits that uh, be from the environment we are following these things uh, so here what uh, are the examples of the skirted gloves is nothing but the kerala there are hundreds of small jungles uh, dedicated for the snakes so where uh, you have met how listen this one there are many temples for the snakes in the kerala so what actually it is doing it is protecting that area the the forest has been protected because uh, uh, we should not uh, destroy the garden snake gods area that's how we are protecting and then ayappa caves are been there uh, that is dedicated for the lord ayappa the most of the land is there many, most area with that even the kerala hill which is uh, there with the sabarmala uh, which we are protecting that uh, instead of damaging that if you take uh, any other mountain we are damaging because uh, we have certain beliefs that uh, beliefs have to be continued so the mountains has to be prayed they should not be damaged if you take uh, japan or something they construct on the mountain itself but in, in indian construction so we damage the things so we have to uh, think of again so this is what right time 2020 uh, we have to in touch with the environment because uh, in near future the expectation in uh, 2040 there won't be any oxygen or so we have to buy the oxygen now we are buying the water now we have to buy oxygen so we have to stop this we have to leave the earth for our next generation also that's what uh, how our traditional people have done with the scared gloves they have protected this is the most effective manner of uh, protecting the biological diversity okay so even square pounds is there so where uh, these pounds are mostly available in the every temple maximum temples big temples uh, they have been there so what uh, these uh, pounds have been used they are used for the protection of uh, uh, your endangered uh, species like uh, turtles crocodiles so these have been uh, used there uh, so we are in turn the culture is saying that uh, it is used for protecting even if you take the scared plants and uh, uh, animals so we are praying many of the plants see if you take the uh, people tree why we pray because uh, our ancients or uh, our uh, old people's uh, souls have been there so we believe that and we pray that uh, and then banyan tree if you take uh, the fulfillment of the desire so uh, if you have any desire you uh, just tag it red to the uh, banyan tree it will come um, get completed so these are the beliefs uh, because of those beliefs we are not cutting these trees elsewhere the other trees we have been uh, using for our uh, nat- uh, daily conservation so we have to think so this is the tradition that we used to follow even for the sandal tree tulsi uh, tree so if you see uh, this is kajri uh, tree in the rajasthan which is well known for their fight uh, it is a livelihood for the many of the people in the rajasthan because uh, uh, for the dry place only this tree uh, survives in the soil uh, dry land and gives the fruits for the people as a food uh, and livelihood also and then nature uh, in the indian arts so if you take uh, arts art uh, the previous uh, the gods what have been done their uh, stories have been well architected in the pictures if you see this first picture see the king uh, when he wants to build a fort in the uh, forest the people surrounded that uh, uh forest they rounded every tree they even uh, uh, kept their heads for not uh, breaking the trees so that's how uh, the culture uh, is demonstrated well with our pictures uh, the culture again it says uh, we used to pray the uh, animals here you can see the cow even if you see the gods they have the uh, carrier as the animals so eagle and your cow and then mouse these are the uh, being 
told us uh, so that no no one will touch these animals uh, so we are not uh, uh, worried about these animals but the other animal other species they uh, we are getting extinct so they have, uh, in the 2040 we doesn't know how many of the uh, species of the tigers or the cheetahs will alive in india indian species so we had to think again we had to construct our community and so how the community can be built we have to think again even the stories uh, of ashoka so empire ashoka in the past we have seen so what he has been told uh, he has on his uh, uh, kingdom what he has did is on the rocks on the pillars everywhere he, have, uh, he has uh, written the laws that prohibit uh, prohibition of uh, cutting the trees or the forest uh, killing of uh, various species of animals is prohibited so this is how he has taken the decision in his kingdom like that mogal empires uh, if you see uh, the bharu bharu is a lover of uh, uh, birds uh, he is to uh, love and empire jahangir he is a lover of uh, uh, wild life so he is to protect them so these are the king's responsibility they stated that the king's responsibility is not just to protect the human but he has to protect the entire species uh, including the plants so that's what the culture that we have in indian uh, and then if you see kajaras uh, in the rajasthan as i said uh, those 363 men and women young and old people who have prevented the cutting of the trees and from there the village uh, no tree has been cut so this is in the th- uh, 1730 ad so the of indian history so now recently we see chipko uh, movement uh, in himalayas himalayas uh, the power plants have been uh, sanctioned and they want to set up that so but uh, the local people and local ngos they fight it against it and stop it that uh, eventually happening the thing okay so it's a responsibility of the community connection and we have to protect ourselves okay environment and development if you see uh, if you, indian is a developing country so here rapid industrialization growing urbanization intensive cultural uh, cultivations all these have been happening in india because uh, we want to be as a developed country we are in a race we want to do these things the adverse effects of these are nothing but a deforestation as we are making the industrialization uh, the same way as the deforestation is happening and then land is process of been uh, uh, degrading and then uh, pollution in the air is been increasing and the water pollution is there then threat to the uh, natural living resources uh, even for the animals other species so these are all the other problems that we are been acquiring so they we have to balance now it is the time right time we have to balance when you are doing something you have to see the adverse effects of it also and so before you destroy something so deforestation leading to soil erosion so if soil erosion happens definitely irrigation system will damage irrigation system damage our agriculture sector will goes off so now we are buying a, a bag of rice for 1000 rupees earlier we have lesson from our traditional people elder people they used to get bag with 50 rupees only what is this because the fertility of the land is been degraded and the land and uh, erosion has been occurred because of uh, our population density and excessive usage of the resources even we doesn't require maybe my father told me to get something from a, a shop which is uh, uh, just in 100 meters we never go on, on walk we are trying to go on bike this is not the culture which we has in the past so we have to think rethink these things okay if you see uh, the current status uh, the few, few species of indian uh, uh, rhinoceros or uh, your indian cheetahs they have been uh, getting uh, extinct so means uh, most of the two species are not there uh, now presently in 2020 uh, they completely died and, and then if you see a uh, pink headed duck they are vanished they are not there in india which uh, happened in uh, this uh, century only past centuries we used to have this uh, himalayan corals also these are also vanished so these are all because uh, we are the taking a uh, lead in 
uh, spoiling our environment. I can say uh, we have to be responsible. Think the controversy is what we are doing. So if the ecosystem is not balanced, whether we will be in the ecosystem, uh, no. Biodiversity, if we are not maintaining, we also have to suffer. This is the thing we have to get back. So unconventional history, unconservational history based on Indian economy, if you see, so what has been led for this destruction is that and once we got the freedom in 1947 uh, as uh, most of the people uh, in the 1947 majority are the people suffering uh, from hunger ignorance diseases uh, they are poor we have we have been pointed out as uh, by the in english people as poor country then our elder people our leaders have said uh, to uh, see uh, not just the freedom political freedom or the political in independence in india but we have to have more sales of the proper prosperity like uh, we have to increase our uh, uh, standard of living so this uh, has evolved us and then we are in the part of the destructive uh, family again so maybe many of the developed countries they destructed their environment natural resources now we also have increased the proper uh, poverty level uh, maybe the standard of living we have increased from uh, maybe 80 percent of people poor to something like our 40 percent people are rich uh, in india so we have made that but uh, at the same time what happened is nothing but uh, we have directly impact on the natural resources uh, we have excessively used them in making our present so environmental degradation uh, has an adversely affected the poor who depend upon the uh, resources of their immediate surroundings. So if you see till today also uh, around 30% of the people are connected with the forest. So these people live only on the environment, only on the natural resources that are available from the surrounding. And these uh, resources we are uh, using excessively and uh, for many people uh, getting a one uh, meal per day is very difficult. So that's what the situation now we, we are facing in India. I'm not talking with any other country but our Indian country only we have this problem. So uh, it is that the juncture that we should look back upon our rich traditions of living in harmony with the nature. We have to think our grandparents, grandfathers, they have taught us. So how uh, we have to be with the trees. Even uh, my parents should say we should not touch the plant uh, in the night time and uh, break the leaves of the plants. So this culture we are not propagating our generation to the next generation and this may be a, a reason of a destructive environment so we have to take this one as a information managing resources information if you see for all these uh, adverse effects in the atmosphere of 2020 uh, the uh, all the governments all the globally they have standardized for the sustainable development and their 17 goals have been set up uh, as a, a immediate action that has to be taken by every central or the state governments for the sustainable development of the uh, their country their own community our own community how we can achieve all these goals that have been kept by the government or uh, decided by the local authorities or the elderly people like no poverty zero hunger food health and well-being quality education general equality and then clean water and sanitation so all these are very important and we have to we have to achieve these 17 goals so this is what uh, the mandatory that has been done so how we can achieve this one it's not the just the responsibility of the central government or the state government dedicating that we have these goals but it's individual that we need to contribute for the uh, our own community uh, so we are not building someone's health we are building our own health we have to be conscious when we are uh, looking at these goals we have to follow them
the magic happens when the people come together only the magic is that when everyone comes together so you know everyone every people will comment that that fellow is doing that this fellow is doing that so why not you point yourself what you are doing what you have done at least what you have done is uh, over so what you can do that we have to think of from now onwards okay so that's that the primary motto of this uh, talk so the few uh, places uh, i will be covering at the end uh, what you can do uh, as an individual also so many ideas have been posted in this slide you can see the few places of the earth to today escape from the touch of the humanity there is no uh, humanity also there uh, uh, maybe it's a positive or negative they are not connected so this should not be there every sector has to be connected then only we can get to all the su sustainable goals so how we can change the world so if you see the human uh, he should he should be a part of the biodiversity okay so how we can uh, change the, this uh, old is nothing but we have to create impact by partnering with the local community only solution for this uh, that has been given for today and it is granted or uh, published is that we have to be partner with the local communities local communities are nothing but local tribal people or the local below poverty people they know well how to be harmony with the nature so we have to get from them the knowledge and we have to follow the things then only uh, we may protect ourselves the global threat of uh, biodiversity if you see uh, can be successfully met by the locally driven solutions it is it can be done maybe because i am saying locally locally is that my locality the problem is that something drainage some other locality the problem is something else right? the pollution may be the problem so we have to solve at that particular localities locally connected people the leaders at that place then we can easily achieve these things the society has launched the last wild place so uh, this is a uh, uh, year 10 year plan that has been launched to protect the diverse landscapes and marine environment for the sustainable development and the sustained life on the earth we have to protect these things so that's what the 10 year plan that is going currently uh, on our globe so we need to support the community driven initiatives so community driven initiatives mostly comes from our own communities uh, elderly people they are poor so we have to support them to, to get our pro solutions our problems at that instance only so many ngos and the conservation specialists uh, uh, can enhance their own community engagement strategies maybe in the uh, in your local area there may be a few ngos that who are maybe protecting uh, the animals in that particular area maybe protect in the environment in that area we have to join hands so what helps that we can do we have to elaborate this is not for them sake but for our future so we have to uh, think that then how the local communities and ngos can help the, to change the world if you see how they can uh, change the world is nothing but uh, uh, is a time where we are really facing the problem with the all sides of the environment so currently we have been with the corona so many adverse talks have been there but the main talk is that uh, environmental uh, degradation that we have caused so these are the adverse efforts and nature is adjusting itself uh, by pulling up these things so uh, like a uh, uh, karna maybe tsunami or maybe something so because we degraded the environment no nature uh, to be adjusted to that environment it is adjusting so the niche uh, the local communities or ngos they are taking the responsibility to save god their own local areas so we have to support them so because they are already in the practice they have developed their own uh, frameworks they have uh, their own ideas to build the society so they have the experience and the knowledge surrounding community engagement tools they have so, and they have the experts minds elderly people suggestions so in building up the uh, the community local communities so we have to collaborate collaboratively uh, with the ngos uh, we can do the many things uh, to enhance our own local community and community engagement
so we should not say that okay these people are doing something why should i participate because uh, you are you are sick uh, for your health you are a well being they are fighting so you have to think in that manner okay often methods models and the theories of a community conservation has been developed to reflect the specific context so there have been many methods models uh, uh, theories have been there for specific uh, context like i said maybe drainage maybe something forest deforestation in your area maybe birds have been dying because of some uh, excess of technology in the particular area so you have to uh, see that because these people already pointed those things we had to help them out to solve these things in our community the case studies as uh, this tell uh, this is what we have seen past uh, uh, traditions and then uh, the present what we are taking the globally we are uh, seeing the sustainable development goals so now the case study is how the people have reacted and like you and me how i can contribute to our mother earth our nature and sustain our next generations so these are the case studies see uh, here is that uh, every one of us uses the gene fans uh, so how it is uh, done is nothing but the names are the uh, most popular ones uh, the uh, dining technology is used here so the degradation with these companies is that we doesn't know we try to buy these uh, clothes but here they are the most de degrading or uh, damaging for the atmosphere earlier so if you can see uh, the most of the chemicals are used are harmful chemicals and uh, pesticides are used to get that color shade and water is conserved for uh, cleaning them so this is been uh, excess usage in the past then the technology has uh, thank god that uh, our technology has helped us uh, with the laser technology the reduction of the chemicals water and energy uh, in the finished dining have been reduced so this is that uh, uh, the tomorrow's product we have to think which things uh, we need to buy so that uh, it is environmentally safe or it is unsafe so instead of buying uh, from the uh, thing so in the near future we'll be getting apps to identify the denim from which company it is coming whether the company is following the green environment or not so if not following green environment we are the people who have to take decision not to use that right? it doesn't happen if we are not using the jeans so that's how our mindset has to change and again see here uh, the teenager 17 year old girl has become the un united nations environmental program um, band ambassador so from india so see the, the she, she analyzed her local uh, environment uh, her hometown how is it is the greenery in her uh, childhood and how, how the environment has degraded she documented and published that to the uh, unep and she has become the regional ambassador so that's how the contribution the sharing of the knowledge is most important as now i am sharing what are the problems that we have and how we can solve them so this is how you after listening carry forward this to your next generation next friend maybe colleague or, or someone who is not responsible so that's how only the solution for saving our nature so this is how see a uh, cleaning of the uh, mess in the beach so whenever we go to a beach definitely we have the snacks there at the beach and we are leaving that snacks of packets of plastic that we use so this has to be avoided by us okay so see here the five uh, visa drivers uh, you can say they are the swimmers they started their own ngo uh, and they what they did is uh, they got in deep into the ocean and they uh, have picked 5000 kg of the plastic waste from the sea see you how much uh, wastage that we are mixing in that uh, how uh, if this uh, plastic is eaten by the fish and once you conserve that what happens to our health and what is the uh, fishes are being there if the biodiversity is not maintained what will be the health of the uh, our future 
we have to think so these five people can do the packages uh, why can't uh, uh, from our audience who know the swimming can join them they are already given the offer so anyone can join us and then start the uh, cleaning their own society so again disaster management when there is a disaster we have to go we have to help the people so maybe you cannot help from your place uh, which is far away then you can help in virtually in some uh, way uh, so the sense has to be there uh, we have to be uh, connected so that is what community connection is there and how the young indian communities uh, uh, what they are doing so their suggestion is that reject the use of the plastic uh, cleaning up the lake and then to the using the recyclable products only is the present uh, needed thing in the uh, present life so this we have to take uh, it to the heart and have to follow then only we can make things so if you see uh, this girl so uh, to my knowledge she is an 8 year old uh, girl uh, in to june 21st 2019 what she did is not much she spent a week outside the pm office to pass a law against the climatic changes so the climatic changes have been done you have to pass a law so there is a law that has been uh, long standing in the court so that has to be passed up so this girl uh, fight has been also awarded so always when you connect with the community community connection is there in turn the benefit is that your personality will always be developed your uh, community connection will also be developed you seek help you will get the help so there is no harm that uh, if you do not do anything you won't get anything so doing something will always be a better thing than uh, staying idle and, and not doing anything for the environment or the mother again so here see the boy uh, he is an environmentalist uh, person uh, who has done a uh, a fantastic idea i can say that two robots he has prototyped so for awarding the two sdgs that is sustainable development goals one is your zero hunger and the life below the water so what are these products prototypes uh, if you see the prototype is marine boat cleaner uh, cleaner so the boat that goes into the marine and picks all the plastic around it uh, into the boat itself that's the one prototype and then he has designed another prototype agri boat so it is uh, targeted for ensuring the zero hunger agri boat helps the farmer so to help the farmers in seeding and then uh, covering the seed with the soil and making the yield more productive so that's that his idea at this age he is doing why can't we do or contribute something to our mother earth you see the himalayas uh, they have been a hydro power project uh, sanctioned by the government which leads to the deforestation at the himalayas that the local people and communities and uh, ngos uh, fighted against it and stopped the uh, that project so that's that the strength in connection community in connection people all connected together only we can solve these problems okay so that's the uh, one example then um, balipar foundations is an uh, another tourism uh, ngo that is taking the wildlife uh, in the assam the in the marine ecosystem so is an another uh, important we have to be responsible we have to uh, preserve our own uh, species because uh, it is given that the uh, in iun iucn it is an international body that has been, uh, always every year the uh, gives an report uh, where if you see the report 50 species are threatened six uh, of them are critically vanishing and then uh, seven are dying out 37 at risk so all these status is why we are getting this part because uh, we damage things so by uh, leaving the oil into the oceans or maybe the uh, biodegradable things that we are mixing with the non degradable things we are mixing with the uh, oceans or the sea ponds we are spoiling our own environment 
okay so this is another uh, uh, ngo uh, which is uh, uh, preserving these plants on the ocean which are the habitats of the many of the fishes and then uh, if you take another dolphins uh, uh, are being uh, going on uh, away because of the tourism uh, boats that have been there in the goa uh, these dolphins are going out uh, because of uh, scaring of, uh, of people so this is avoided by this ngo what this ngo has done is that they have uh, made one boat uh, and then they train the driver uh, how he should go and how the people in this uh, boat can uh, see the dolphins uh, without uh, interrupting their livelihood and they are uh, scaring them so that's how the training they have given. they started their own ngo and they fight for that and then uh, if you see ngo smrt ngo they are protecting the birds uh, uh, and the fishes uh, with the marine environment and then uh, see these are all examples case studies that you can follow even if you see management of the community forest resources uh, earlier uh, we have the strong uh, rules from the indian forest act that uh, the forest should not be used by any people around it uh, the forest resources have been uh, with the government control then what happened is that uh, you can see 250 to 350 million forest dependent people are there in india itself so uh, see if this uh, i mean india or the globe uh, these many people are there and if that rule act has been given they have injustice to the people and many of the people have struggled for their livelihood in the past so now uh, the indian forest act has been changed and then uh, it has been uh, modified that the local tribal people are also uh, being uh, responsible in the harmony of the forest and they have the rights to use but not or to use entirely they've been set up the rules how much extent they can use and the monitoring committee uh, committees have been set up so if you say one uh, professor from IIT, is, he has said that involving the tribal communities can boost Indians wildlife conservation also. So only solution to increase that is the tribal community has to be involved. The people who we think they are uh, non-touchable, uh, they are the only the people who can give us the solution for our next future. We should not ignore them. We should not say that. So that's how uh, this slide says uh, how the act has been changed to uh, incorporate the humans also, the local people, community. <clears throat> okay, if you say the Kerala uh, government, uh, there any forest uh, is being in the control of the Gram Sabha, any state government, the Gram Sabhas are responsible for their local community management, engagement and then the forest resources management, they are responsible. What these people have done is nothing but in the Gram Sabha, the forest rights committee has been created, they created president, secretary, joint secretary, treasurer and then they have created the letter pad they have to take the permission how much extent they can use the resources uh, what plans they have been cutting and then local people tribal people they have started training them how to use uh, the resources uh, how they cannot uh, use the resources uh, to extent what is the extent that is there uh, how you can improve your own yield in the forest uh, and these are the agriculture lands uh, protect production how you can do the training programs, fisherman training programs, firewood training programs, these have been all created by Gram Sabha. What we can do is that when we can approach the nearby Gram Sabha, take the support of them and improve our own community. So that's for that uh, purpose I have kept the uh, slides. So Karnataka government, if you see, they have they, uh, set up the right holders for the protect wildlife, forest and the biodiversity. They recognize the, the traditional rights uh, so excluding that hunting and tapping of the uh, animals, they excluded that thing. The Grand Sabha are given responsibility to regulate the forest resources. So this has been taken by the local uh, state governments. We have to support that. Uh, we should not go against them. Uh, no one is seeing me. So you are only responsible for your act. Uh, no one is there to observe your act. You, you, we have to say our own thing. So how uh, we can manage the information here is that 
so uh, we have seen all these things but there are no documentation that is available for uh, making the people uh, enlighten about these topics so maybe people uh, think on reading the topic heading maybe it is boring but it's uh, individual responsibility in current society uh, that uh, we have to save our mother earth for our existence for our survival otherwise we doesn't have our own earth so uh, for that information uh, has to be managed the information that have been given by our elderly people how to use our uh, forest resources harmony maintenance with the nature all these have been there but uh, we are not following or may not be uh, articulated in the books so we have to do that to uh, get the information how we get the information by involving ourselves in the community meeting in the uh, community engagement uh, in the uh, with the N- ngos or uh, local government uh, we have to participate them support those activities then uh, uh, definitely we have the information this information you can put into the libraries or museums so that this culture that what we have now should be followed by our next generation for our sustainability or their sustainable uh, development so that's how information management can be done so uh, there are uh, different activities that can be done in a particular location so like a reflection of uh, our identification of the assets at that particular locality so what uh, extent that can use what are the critical resources that have been extent in my locality uh, wh- how i can preserve them how the, i can give the pri- priority how we know these all things uh, we know with the local governance only at the local parties only or the local uh, local community that we have we have to engage with them the collaboration and the information sharing is the only solution that you no know, we have to do as a education or uh, educationist or economist or a professionalist so you have the many connections so as a student many connections many friends you have to pass this information information sharing is a one solution that we can preserve our earth like uh, we have saved ourselves from the corona we have fighted uh, if you see uh, many people have pointed that uh, everyone in the india will get affected with corona but we have fighted well how we have fighted well we have carry forward we are connected we have the information sharing platforms we have well used to save from the corona why not we can save ourselves from all other uh, problems in the biodiversity management so we have to do that we have to engage ourselves uh, finding the inventories uh, we have to startups uh, have been there for the environment and uh, your agriculture products we have to encourage them and get the products developed so this is one method uh, in a local community how you can enrich your own problems is that uh, you ask the people to list uh, all the uh, natural resources in that particular place which is the richest one and then cultural practice and belief that they uh, regularly follow our social relationships that they have or the political life that they are uh, whether they are happy with that political life in that locality or not economic uh, status and situation of that particular family how they are feeling how it is supported so if you take uh, a feedback form from them definitely you learn many things from them and then you can interconnect uh, with the weaknesses of that particular community and then we can develop our own community this is one method how information can be managed out so these are the few activities i say uh, from our ipli or the nss that we have uh, we are participating regularly see uh, this is where we went to a school and planted the plants around the school uh, and this is the cleaning of a local park uh, and then this is the cleaning of the uh, 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 beach and then this is against the society acts uh, against the uh, we have conducted rallies so we have engaged the people so this is the, uh, the physically uh, challenged people they cannot have uh, mind in set so these people need your presence your happiness to be shared with them so that we can do uh, we went to even uh, prison uh, where uh, girl prisoners have been there uh, we have given them the how they can be well being 
and then uh, these are the few uh, things uh, here dengue fever has been taken uh, most uh, in the uh, visakhapatnam area we have went to house to house maybe uh, 200 plus houses we reached and we clean made them to clean their houses fungus all those things to reduce the dengue fever in that uh, region uh, of uh, below poverty people houses And then i uh, here is see our health is our life so this is crp training in emergency how you can perform crp uh, you can save your life or your parents or your family members when they are in trouble because heart attack you now it is 4% of the people are dying in the world with the heart attack so emergency treatment is needed for that so these are the things that we can learn and for this no education is required uh, voluntarily we have to participate see this is an ngo abhyudaya if you see these are uh, the group of people who joined uh, together uh, i am also a member of that so where uh, we adopted the students uh, whose parents have been expired of below poverty people and we are uh, continuously paying their fees for their education continuity and uh, we are uh, making a harmony of their family also so that uh, these people children they are all children so six years seven years old children they continue their education so this is see how much garbage we have collected in an hour so we performed only one hour activity at the beach road along with the indian navy so in an hour we collected this much garbage around the beach so this much garbage created by human so we created so we have to solve the things so you see uh, water harvesting so we have to preserve our own ha- water so in the schools and the colleges we went and we created uh, uh, with our own resources uh, uh, my students and myself uh, digged their uh, water harvesting wells and then if you see we went to local people and we uh, took their problems to the uh, local authorities uh, like volunteers so we uh, communicated uh, to them and this the bridge between the people are also been communicated you can take the, your uh, own decision these are all solutions i am taking how you can involve yourself uh, children they uh, they doesn't know how to maintain the swachh pakwada uh, is a program that is carried by the government state government so we followed that we went to the children and we uh, told them what is the importance of that government norms rules so this is how we itself uh, build uh, in the community at the wall of the school we see if you see this is a drainage where most of the water is wasted hand wash so this hand wash water goes into this uh, water harvesting well that's how we have created things so uh, even medical help that we have done uh, for the people maybe uh, children they can, uh, doesn't know whether they have the eye problem or not so we have to took, took the help of the local uh, uh, hospital people and we have conducted medical camps also so these are all solutions that you can do in different awareness programs in the society blood donation i, I ask i uh, Uh, most uh, wanted are uh, the thing that i like in this is uh, blood donation so with single blood you can save three lives uh, that is what the slogan is there uh, so uh, you, your platelets or your hemoglobins or your uh, blood itself may save the life so i am happy that uh, we have saved a life at 2 o'clock we got a call that uh, accident has happened and uh, they need urgent blood for the tre- uh, treatment and we supplied that uh, with the help of the volunteers so that's how you can do so when there is a need uh, you have to do see uh, this last picture uh, where bus is there bus full of uh, gasseries we have sent to the kerala for flood uh, uh, relief camp so uh, which was around 5 lakhs uh, we have collected not from the college we have gone to the local community we asked for whatever the things that they can donate uh, we collected the things from them uh, we segregated we cleaned the whole class uh, and we kept in the uh, um, mind and then we made had to clean all those things we recirculated and we sent this one to the needy people so this is how the local people can engage ourselves uh, we can engage uh, my volunteer even is recognized at the state level and then so we have uh, went to the uh, beach road which uh, given the pamphlets to uh, the people to get aware about the corona and not to uh, go out all those things in the month of the february itself before the corona has been completely avoided so 
houses of DC. Old age people, there are many old age homes have been there, uh, which uh, the culture was not there in the earlier life, uh, earlier past tradition of Indian culture. Why, uh, if, when we met all these people, old age people, the community connection, uh, what we have uh, known is that these people are rich. They have the uh, children in the US, uh, America, uh, they are earning, but they have no time to spend with their parents. So this is what the uh, problem uh, that we have. So we have to think again. Can't we hold our parents who have folded us for 25 years or 30 years? Uh, they have given us strength uh, for walk and read and walk and survival of ourselves. They sacrifice many things. So that's all. Uh, my lecture, uh, a little step from you can make big difference. And if you motivate also then it can make a much more difference these are the references that I have taken the react that I have referred for the presentation thank you I thank uh, AP government state uh, skill development uh, cooperation for giving this opportunity madam Madam Sahita, hello, hello, madam, so uh, anyone have any questions uh, or any idea that you can uh, share here so that uh, other people can also read that and they can also motivate it. So works that you have done for the social welfare or community connection you can share with us in the chat or something you want to ask you can share in the chat madam so can you hear me yeah madam Hello? yeah uh, let me stop, stop sharing yes sir okay. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, uh, oh, participants, if you have any queries, please raise your hand or you can post it in the questions. Yeah, you can suggest how other people can also follow your good uh, ideas. Home. I hope I have not bored you people, uh, but it's our responsibility that uh, you people carry this information to your next generation or your next friend. This is only for our well being. Yeah, participants, feedback link also posted in the group. Thank you, uh, Pallavi. Madam, it's uh, in the comment that uh, the form is not opening. Please check it. Yeah, we are accepting the responses. Please, we can try it now. Okay. I really thank uh, AP State Government, Madam, because the, this is the right topic uh, where we have to have the support from our youth for our sustainable development. Avi, thank you very much, sir.
madam participants of posture that they have still a problem yeah it's opening they said maybe problem with your end madam you can retry it Uh, people, I am expecting something from your side. Like, oh, uh, what better thing that you can tell us, or you can uh, ask me the questions, anything uh, that is required or to be elaborated. I don't think this is the topic that is not known for us. But only thing is, we are not following things. I request everyone uh, can just go to Google and see the what are the ten most problems that is faced by the globe today. Then you will be analyzing what damage that we are causing to the environment and our sustainable our conservation our biodiversity. Madam, anything to be addressed? So actually, we are not getting any query, so we can just yes, madam. wind up the session if if we have a. Mostly, you see here there is a com. Participants, can we wind up the session or you have any queries? Yes, madam. Pallavi Pal rightly said. The day by day, old age homes are increasing. But they are not alone. They have the family. They have the children. But they are still alone. What is the reason? We have to address that. We don't think that you are so young to address these things. Yes, I have shown the examples. Four-year-old girl, as a four-year-old boy. Maybe in the innovation side, or maybe in the uh, environmental fighting. Protection against the environment. You can be always a good participant and good uh, for well-being of an environment. Any instructions to the participants? Uh, only one thing is, uh, please give your feedback of the session today. Okay. Once they are done, they can leave, no, madam. If anybody has questions, please. Yeah. Yes, sir. We can, sir. Actually, they are not posting any questions, so we can. Yeah, this is a general topic, madam. Everyone has awareness, but only thing is, uh, we have to follow the things, guidance of our elders. That's it. Yes, sir. somebody is asking that how can we change our busy lifestyle to be close with nature and biodiversity. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, see a uh, busy lifestyle. Uh, everyone, we say that our life is busy. Uh, we have a responsibility, family life, and then uh, corporate life, uh, maybe student life, studying. But see, uh, if you are not responsible for your own uh, uh, health, then who will take care of that? That's not only one solution. Time will always be there. See, if there is an exam, we have much time for preparing the exam. If there is an assignment, we have much time to prepare the assignment and do the things. That means we are prioritizing the things. When we are prioritizing the things, why can't we prioritize this one? Maybe you can start with small things that uh, may change the 
and it becomes a bigger so maybe as i have shown you abhidaya it was started by adopting only one children now it has been grown to 21 children myself uh, and my uh, students we adopted uh, uh, with that ngo three students and the two three students have been there uh, krishna and then other girl what uh, we feel when we do a good thing definitely our shoulder raises we feel happy goodness our health will be blessed up by that people so this is how we have to take time maybe if you are not uh, uh, physically involved maybe you can involve in passing the information that is not a problem or maybe you can involve in helping with your uh, financial aid or uh, you can involve yourself uh, uh, by motivating someone who can do that actually you may find a good ma- man Uh, around you yeah, you need to forward a right message to him he will take the action so that's how you have to uh, participate in this building of the uh, local communities or local connections okay i think i addressed you the solution is uh, around us only so take some time if you are not able to give blood what you can do is uh, you forward that message to someone who can donate that so that's the one solution that we can do like that solution is around us no only the prioritizing the things you will get the answer for you and for every problem there is not just one unique solution 100 methods to solve that problem is there in the environment you can always have your own method to address that problem you will be can find local ngos around you so who are uh, supporting uh, your own community you can help them maybe participating physically in your free time maybe sunday or one hour activity that uh, they are doing maybe distributing food to the poor people now obviously you can uh, present there make your own help because the manpower is needed for them to supply even they have the food they need manpower to supply that uh, to go to the right person that food you can uh, elaborate your hand to them and everyone of us can uh, have a plant at home we I mean, even in your apartment you are living in an apartment you can have small plants in your home uh, and you can have uh, big trees planted uh, around the uh, your uh, apartment maybe if there is a space available that's how uh, co2 level can be decreased i live in an apartment uh, if you see mm, i have developed my own garden in my cardia so that's how you can do that you can address from your side what help you can do you can do and i like the participants uh, they are not leaving that means they are much more interested they are the real well being of the uh, our globe i can say i know the topic uh, might not be interesting uh, at the beginning but when the problems that can be solved from our side definitely our internal ethics will not let us go down that's how we stand on our culture that have been given by our elders thank you guys thank you all uh, i like you all uh, participating in the uh, building of our biodiversity
madam i think if they have given the feedback uh, you can end up that yes sir please yeah thank you participants for participating and uh, we thank you very much sir for uh, giving this opportunity uh, thank you madam thank you that you have given me the opportunity to interact with these people thank you sir i'm just ending the session okay okay ma'am thank you